Editing and Formatting in Word 2016 In Word 2016 text can be selected in two ways. Either you can select the whole text in a document or you can select a part of the text from the document by using the mouse or keyboard. You can also select text that is in different places. Selecting the text Following are the steps to select text in Word. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Apply the desired changes. Selecting the whole. Follow these steps to select all the text in a document. Step 1. Click anywhere in the document. Step 2. Press Ctrl plus A on your keyboard to select all the text in the document. Selecting specific text. One can select a word, a line or multiple paragraphs in a word document. Follow these steps to select specific text in a document. Step 1. Place the cursor in front of the first letter of the word sentence paragraph that you wish to select. Step 2. Press and hold shift key while you drag the cursor to select the text. Editing the text. The text that is entered in the document can be edited so that you can insert, delete, move or copy the text from one page to another in the document. Inserting the text. Follow these steps to insert text in a document. Step 1. Click anywhere in the document where you want to insert the text. Step 2. Enter the text that you want. Copying pasting the text. Copying the text will not remove the text from its original place, it will make a copy of it in a place where the user wants to paste it. Follow these steps to copy and paste text in a document. Step 1. Select the text that you want to copy. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on Copy command from the clipboard group. Step 4. Click on the place where you want to paste the text. Step 5. Click on Paste command from the clipboard group. Cutting pasting the text. Cutting the text will remove the text from its original place, it will make a copy of it in a new location where the user wants to paste it. Follow these steps to copy and paste text in a document. Step 1. Select the text that you want to copy. Step 2. Click on Home tab. Step 3. Click on Cut command from the clipboard group. Step 4. Click on the place where you want to paste the text. Step 5. Click on Paste command from the clipboard group. Deleting the text. In order to delete a text line word, we have to select it and press the delete key on the keyboard. We can also press the backspace key to delete the text. Undo redo. When we want to cancel a command, we use undo button. When we want to reverse the action of an undo command, we use the redo command. To undo, click on the undo button on the quick access toolbar. To redo, Click on the Redo button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Formatting the text Formatting is known as changing the appearance and arrangement of the text. Follow these steps to format a text. Step 1. Select the text you wish to format. Step 2. Apply the desired effect. Applying bold, underline and italic. Bold option makes the text appear dark and thick. Underline option draws a line under the text. Italic option makes the text appear slanted towards the right. Follow these steps to apply the functions. Step 1. Select the text to which the effect has to be applied. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. In the Font group. 
click on the bold button, underline button, or italic button. Changing the font style Font is a particular shape and style of a set of letters, number, or symbols. Default font that appears when you open the word program is Calibri font and 11 font size. Follow these steps to change the font type. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click on Home tab. Step 3. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the font command in the font group. A list of fonts will appear. Step 4. Choose the font you wish to apply to the text. The text will appear in the selected font. Changing the font size Follow these steps to change the font size. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the font size in the font group. A list of font sizes will appear. Step 4. Choose the font size you want to apply to the text. The text will appear in the selected font size. Changing the font color Following are the steps to change the font color. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click on Home tab. Step 3. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the font color in the font group. A list of font colors will appear. Step 4. Choose the font color that you wish to apply to the text. The text will appear in selected font color. Text effects. Follow these steps to apply effects to any selected text. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click on Home tab. Step 3. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the text effect option in font group. A list of text effects will appear. Step 4. Choose the text effects which you want to apply to your text. The text will appear in the selected effect. Aligning the text The way in which the text appears in relation to the margins is known as the alignment of the text. There are four alignment options available in Word, left, right, center, justify. Follow these steps to change the alignment in a text. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Choose the alignment option you want to apply to your text from the paragraph group. The text will appear in selected alignment. Click on Align Left button to align the text towards the left margin. Click on Align Center button to align the text at the center of the page. Click on Align Right button to align the text towards the right margin. Click on Align Justify button to align the text equally between the left and right margins. Applying Borders we can make our document more attractive by applying a border to the whole page. Follow these steps to apply a border. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the drop-down arrow on the border option in the paragraph group. Step 4. Select border and shading option from the drop-down list. The Borders and Shading dialog box will appear. Step 5. Click on the Borders tab. Choose a border style and color from Style and Color option. Step 6. Click OK button. Applying an artistic border. Instead of a simple border, we can also apply an artistic border to a page. Follow these steps to apply an artistic border to a page. Step 1. Click on the Home tab. Step 2. Click on the Page Border option in the Borders and Shading dialog box. Step 3. 
Click on the drop-down arrow below the art box. Step 4. Select a border style. Step 5. Click on the OK button. Applying shading to the selected text. We can make the text visually attractive by applying many different types of shading to it. Follow these steps to apply shading in a text. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click on Home tab. Step 3. Click on the drop-down menu on the border in the paragraph group. Step 4. Choose the border and shading option. A dialog box will appear. Step 5. Select the shading tab in the dialog box. Step 6. Select the type of shading you want to apply for the text. Step 7. Click on the OK button. Removing a border. Follow these steps to remove a border. Step 1. Click anywhere in the text with border. Step 2. Click on the Design tab. Step 3. Click on the drop-down menu on the border option in Paragraph group. Step 4. Select No Border option. The border will be removed from the text. Adding Bullets and Numbering We will now learn how to add bullets and numbering to our text. Bullets a bullet is a small symbol used to mark each item in a list. Follow these steps to apply bullets to selected text. Step 1. Select the text and click on Home tab. Step 2. Choose the bullets option in a paragraph group. A bullet library will appear. Step 3. Select the bullet style you want to apply. Numbering. Follow these steps to apply numbering to the selected text. Step 1. Select the text. Click on Home tab. Step 2. Choose the numbering option in the paragraph group. The numbering library will appear. Step 3. Select the numbering style you wish to apply.